All right, we're in North Little Rock tonight where detectives are investigating a shooting involving law enforcement. It happened this morning or this afternoon actually in the 4600 block of East Broadway. It was just after 12 and we want to thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ashley Kett. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Kloss and authorities confirm one person was taken to the hospital with injuries and that no officers were hurt. And Jay Burr is live from North Little Rock tonight with the latest on this shooting and what exactly happened there, Jay? Uh, yeah, actually, right now, not a lot of details in terms of what actually happened and when and some of the timeline of that incident here. But uh, as you can see behind me, uh, things back to normal. Now, I'm going to step out of frame here just to kind of give you guys an idea here. Uh, this is actually the intersection of Lynch and Broadway. And then earlier today, officers had probably about a half mile block here blocked off, probably from Alma Street all the way down to Rogers, blocked off here. Uh, where the tobacco outlet right there in the parking lot, uh, you might be able to see here. I know we got some traffic in the way here, but that parking lot earlier covered in what uh, we've uh, come to know as those little yellow markers uh, that uh, detectives will use to sort of mark scenes out here. And, and this incident actually happening right next door to the Rose City Police substation here. Now, for the scene itself, uh, not a, again, not a lot is known at this point if there was any motive for what the, for the suspect. But the store owner of Broadway Beauty, which is right across the street from the tobacco outlet, told me that the suspect was not complying with officers after they had asked him multiple times to drop his weapon. At least one officer did eventually fire upon the suspect, and he was transported to a nearby hospital. And his status right now unknown at this hour, but he did suffer some injuries. Now, it was a tense scene out here for a while, especially with police incidents just occurring in Minnesota. But North Little Rock police say they understand that tension, and they really want to put the Rose City community at ease. We understand that any incident, no matter where it occurs, how close in proximity a time that it occurs is troubling for the community and for officers. Uh, we understand that, that incidents like this cause a certain level of fear, and we would uh, just like to uh, let the, our community know, our citizens know, and the public know that we are going to do a very thorough investigation. Now, officials tell us that no officers were struck, no officers were injured in this incident. Again, uh, as of right now, only one officer has been put on administrative leave. There was uh, some people out here telling me anecdotally that they saw multiple officers firing on that suspect. But again, uh, officials saying right now one officer has been put on administrative leave, which is protocol for these types of things. And uh, again, uh, not a whole lot of uh, information at this hour on exactly what happened and why things happened. But